Every year we send dozens of new cars hurling into walls. We whack the latest models from the side, we tip onto two wheels, we slam head on into barriers. Why? Because someday, maybe someday soon, you may do the same. Our job is to do it first. We are the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and we operate safercar.gov. As the authors of the Government Star Safety Ratings, we want you to select a safer car, and we want to keep America's entire fleet safe. So we investigate vehicle defects, we monitor auto manufacturer recalls. All of this information is available to you online without delay. While our work ends up on the web, it all starts in a very different place, like this crash test facility an hour southwest of Milwaukee. We prepared this vehicle to crash. We have a bunch of sensors uh, measuring these dummies, and we painted the dummies to see where they contact the inside of the vehicle. We have high-speed cameras to catch what happens in a fraction of a second. This vehicle is going to go down the track at 35 miles an hour and crash into the wall. The car starts in the vehicle preparation area at the end of the track there. It's about 780 feet. So the car comes in at 35 miles an hour, hits the barrier, and there's 132 load cells, collects the data, see how much force it actually takes on the impact. It's a great indicator of how it will perform in the same situation in the real world. After the impact takes place, uh, a crew will come out and do post-test measurements. What we're looking at after the crash test is to look at the front structure of the vehicle, look at the crush, see how that energy translated to the occupant compartment. We're looking to make sure the airbags deployed correctly, we're looking to make sure that the seat belt operated correctly. We look at the contact points from the chalk on the dummy, see how they translated to the airbag and any other structural points on the vehicle. Take a look at the fuel system make sure that there's no leaks. You can also look at the front end of the vehicle, see all of the components crushed and absorbed energy. After a crash test, every impact and every contact is measured, analyzed, and documented. Then reviewed, analyzed, and quality checked again. I'm a part of an industry that is helping people uh, and helping manufacturers build better cars for safety. At the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, we run the nation's largest crash test efforts. We issue hundreds of star ratings every year, we review every safety complaint we receive and track every recall. Yes, I crash a lot of cars. I crash probably over a thousand cars. I've caused over 1,000 crashes. Four, five hundred at least. Probably about a thousand cars or more. Hundred to 150 crashes. A little over 250 a year. We are the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. We crash cars so you don't have to.